Well, we knew going in that this was going to be our only game this weekend, so we wanted to make sure we put it all out there and left it on the field, gave everything, gave all our heart, and we really played tonight for Chelsea because she had surgery yesterday, and we wanted to go out there because we know how bad she wants to be out here, and we just played for her, and luckily we were able to get one in. We had some unfortunate misses in the first half and in the second half, but we were able to pull together as a team, and we didn't get the result we wanted, but we're happy with it, and just this leads on going into uh, the rest of conference play. Okay. I thought, first of all, it was a good game. You know, it was very much a battle. We said it would be, um, you know, in, in the locker room before we came out, that we're going to have to fight and fight from the first whistle to the last. Um, always that way against in-state rivals and conference, you know, conference games as well. Um, yeah, very pleased with, with the effort that we gave. Um, I thought we, we created enough good chances, particularly early on in the game, uh, where we could have been a couple up. Uh, and instead, uh, against the run of play, we found ourselves a goal down. Um, we didn't uh, didn't time ahead or well in the box. They reacted to the second ball, put it away. Um, so we were coming from behind. Um, great goal by Frosty off the free kick to, to level it up uh, and take it into uh, into overtime. Um, but I thought I thought we'd done enough in that game to, to win it on good chances created. Um, they had quite a few shots as well, but only two on goal. Um, they didn't really test the keeper all that much. Uh, I think we put seven shots on goal, um, and, and normally we would bury two or three of those, and then we didn't in this game. Um, so very pleased with the work rate, very pleased that we came back. Um, we, we'd like to get a win uh, out of that first home game, but uh, we'll, we'll take the tie, and uh, we'll see if we can get two next weekend. Well, the first one I kind of hit with my handbag. That was just, I don't know what happened. I, I guess I overthought it and tried to stay too composed and didn't put enough umph on it. But, I mean, it was there was me and then there was Julie Nelson and there was a couple other girls that had a, an op, op, opportune chance to score and we just didn't finish it. So that's something we're definitely going to work on in practice coming out this week because we get tomorrow off, thankfully, and we can recover and just gives us time to work on more. But it's something that definitely needs to be looked after because we can't have that happen the rest of conference play. We need to make sure we have our chances and to put them away. Well, this is a very big, this is the big in-state rival. Like Mercer and Kennesaw, we hate each other. We just, I mean, a lot of us are friends because like uh, Jules, Kelsey, and I, we have three players on Mercer that we played club with since we were like seven. And so it's always fun to play them, but there's also that like elbowing and here and there grabbing the shirt but it's it's really fun having that kind of physical mentality kind of makes the game that much more fun because it makes you work harder and it just you get more into it I guess it just really brings to life the nature of the game and it makes you work hard and makes it just that much more fun yeah I think there's a lot of intensity and it wasn't a dirty game mm -hmm. uh, there weren't that many fouls but um, you know two teams going hard from the first whistle to the last and uh, yeah it was it was intense it was uh, it was fun to watch, um, uh, not so much fun for the for the coach there, yeah. but for the neutral it was uh, it was end to end and uh, yeah, everybody working really hard. Well, we had a ball crossed in and Julian Nelson got fouled right outside the box and thankfully she went down and really played it up so we got the free kick and. Uh, Jules and I, we usually are the ones that handle the free kicks and we just talked about it and I told her that I was feeling really good, like I, I felt confident in myself and they left the whole left post or their right post wide open and I just prayed that I could keep keep my head over the ball and keep it low and not sail it over the top, which I thankfully was able to do and that goal was 100% for Chelsea O'Callaghan. I, I was looking for her when I came up, but I guess she left, she got too tired, but that was, I mean, that goal was just an accumulation of pure team effort. Like team heart team effort it all goes to that it's no one single player yeah, good good ball into Julia Nelson and she came to control it on her chest and, and got uh, got hit from behind there for the for the free kick um, you know Frosty's excellent on free kicks we've got two or three others that are very good on free kicks as well um, but they spend the time they put the extra time in uh, to practice those set pieces and uh, Frosty hits a, a fantastic ball kept it low had a lot of power on it as well and uh, I knew if it cleared the wall, it was it was going in, and yeah, she hit it really well. So, great great goal from her. Well, we definitely came in with a very strong mentality because last year was not a good year for us at all. So we really made some changes as a team, and we had Tiff, our sports psychologist, come in, and we really sat down and talked about what we wanted for the season and what our goals were. And we knew that we have limited numbers; we don't have a very large bench compared to most teams. And we worked hard to get as fit as we can because we know there's going to be times like this when a lot of players are playing 110 minutes, 90 minutes, however long the game goes. And it's just 
our mentality was just play for each other. We wear these rings that say always remember, and it's just we're remembering players of the past, and we're remembering us, like just playing for us. It's just one big team. Like we just we do a lot of team building stuff, team dinners and stuff, because we want to make sure that we keep that team mentality and that we don't lose that, and we try to stay close and do things together. Because when you're a team off the field, that makes you an even stronger team on the field. And so that's what we hope to bring to every game is to really work as a team and give the audience obviously a good show and something to go home with and and uh, I think they're going to be surprised with this with this conference play. It's it's we've done a lot building up to this. Playing the big SEC teams definitely gives us an experience of playing those bigger girls, faster girls, and it allows us to develop as a team to see where we're lacking. And we can firm those up in uh, practice, and so when we take it to conference play, we can really take it to them. So hopefully, hopefully we don't disappoint this year. So.